In information theory, the noisy channel coding theorem, sometimes Shannon's theorem or Shannon's limit, establishes that for any given degree of noise contamination of a communication channel, it is possible to communicate discrete data, digital information, nearly error-free up to a computable maximum rate through the channel. This result was presented by Claude Shannon in 1948 and was based in part on earlier work and ideas of Harry Nyquist and Ralph Hartley. The Shannon limit or Shannon capacity of a communications channel is the theoretical maximum information transfer rate of the channel, for a particular noise level. Topic overview Stated by Claude Shannon in 1948, the theorem describes the maximum possible efficiency of error-correcting methods versus levels of noise interference and data corruption. Shannon's theorem has wide-ranging applications in both communications and data storage. This theorem is of foundational importance to the modern field of information theory. Shannon only gave an outline of the proof. The first rigorous proof for the discrete case is due to Emil Feinstein in 1954. The Shannon theorem states that given a noisy channel with channel capacity C and information transmitted at a rate R, then if R C display style R there exist codes that allow the probability of error at the receiver to be made arbitrarily small. This means that, theoretically, it is possible to transmit information nearly without error at any rate below a limiting rate. C the converse is also important. If R greater than C, display style R greater than C, an arbitrarily small probability of error is not achievable. All codes will have a probability of error greater than a certain positive minimal level, and this level increases as the rate increases. So, information cannot be guaranteed to be transmitted reliably across a channel at rates beyond the channel capacity. The theorem does not address the rare situation in which rate and capacity are equal. The channel capacity C, display style C, can be calculated from the physical properties of a channel, for a band-limited channel with Gaussian noise, using the Shannon-Hartley theorem. Simple schemes such as send the message three times and use a best two out of three voting scheme if the copies differ are inefficient error correction methods, unable to asymptotically guarantee that a block of data can be communicated free of error. Advanced techniques such as Reed-Solomon codes and, more recently, low-density parity check LDPC codes and turbo codes, come much closer to reaching the theoretical Shannon limit, but at a cost of high computational complexity. Using these highly efficient codes and with the computing power in today's digital signal processes, it is now possible to reach very close to the Shannon limit. In fact, it was shown that LDPC codes can reach within 0.0045 decibels of the Shannon limit for binary additive white Gaussian noise AWGN channels, with very long block lengths. Topic mathematical statement The basic mathematical model for a communication system is the following, a message W is transmitted through a noisy channel by using encoding and decoding functions. An encoder maps W into a predefined sequence of channel symbols of length n. In its most basic model, the channel distorts each of these symbols independently of the others. The output of the channel the received sequence is fed into a decoder which maps the sequence into an estimate of the message. In this setting, the probability of error is defined as P equals P R W caret does not equal W display style P underscore E equals text P R left hat W N E Q W right theorem Shannon 1948 one. For every discrete memoryless channel, the channel capacity C equals sub P X I X Y display style C equals sub underscore P underscore X I X Y has the following property. For any e greater than zero, display style epsilon greater than zero, and R C display style R, for large enough n, display style n, there exists a code of length n, display style n, and rate R and a decoding algorithm such that the maximal probability of block error is epsilon point two. If a probability of bit error p b display style p underscore b is acceptable, rates up to R P B display style R P underscore B are achievable where R P B equals C one minus H two P B Display style R P underscore B equals frac C one H underscore two P underscore B. 
and h 2 p b display style h underscore 2 p underscore b is the binary entropy function h 2 p b equals minus p b log 2 p b plus 1 minus p b log 2 1 minus p b Display style h underscore two p underscore b equals left p underscore b log underscore two p underscore b plus one p underscore b log underscore two one p underscore b right three for any p b display style p underscore b rates greater than r p b Display style R P underscore B are not achievable. Mackay, two thousand and three, P one hundred and sixty two, C F Gallagher, nineteen sixty eight, C H point five, Cover and Thomas, nineteen ninety one, P one hundred and ninety eight, Shannon, nineteen forty eight, T H M eleven. Topic Outline of Proof As with several other major results in information theory, the proof of the noisy channel coding theorem includes an achievability result and a matching converse result. These two components serve to bound, in this case, the set of possible rates at which one can communicate over a noisy channel, and matching serves to show that these bounds are tight bounds. The following outlines are only one set of many different styles available for study in information theory texts. Topic. Achievability for discrete memoryless channels This particular proof of achievability follows the style of proofs that make use of the asymptotic equipartition property AEP. Another style can be found in information theory texts using error exponents. Both types of proofs make use of a random coding argument where the codebook used across a channel is randomly constructed, this serves to make the analysis simpler while still proving the existence of a code satisfying a desired low probability of error at any data rate below the channel capacity. By an AEP-related argument, given a channel, length n strings of source symbols x 1 n display style x underscore 1 caret n and length n display style n strings of channel outputs y 1 n display style y underscore 1 caret n we can define a jointly typical set by the following epsilon n equals x n y n element of x n times y n display style a underscore for epsilon caret n equals x caret n y caret n in math cal x caret n times math cal y caret n 2 minus n H X plus Epsilon P X one N two minus N H X minus Epsilon Display style two carat n h x plus ver epsilon l e q p x underscore one carat n l e q two carat n h x ver epsilon two minus n h y plus epsilon p y one n two 
minus n h y minus epsilon display style 2 caret n h y plus var epsilon leq p y underscore 1 caret n leq 2 caret n h y var epsilon 2 minus n h x y plus epsilon p x 1 n y 1 n 2 minus n h x y minus epsilon Display style two carat N H X Y plus Verepsilon L E Q P X underscore one carat N Y underscore one carat N L E Q two carat N H X Y Verepsilon We say that two sequences X one N Display style X underscore one carat N and Y one N Display style y underscore one carrot n are jointly typical if they lie in the jointly typical set defined above. Steps. In the style of the random coding argument, we randomly generate two n r display style two carrot near code words of length n from a probability distribution Q. This code is revealed to the sender and receiver. It is also assumed that one knows the transition matrix P Y X display style P Y X for the channel being used. A message W is chosen according to the uniform distribution on the set of code words. That is P R W equals W equals Two minus N R W equals one two two N R Display style PR W equals W equals two carat near W equals one two dots two carat near The message W is sent across the channel the receiver receives a sequence according to p y n x n w equals i equals 1 n p y i x i w Display style p y caret n x caret n w equals prod underscore i equals one caret n p y underscore i x underscore i w. Sending these code words across the channel, we receive y one n display style y underscore one caret n and decode to some source sequence if there exists exactly one code word that is jointly typical with Y if there are no jointly typical code words, or if there are more than one, an error is declared. An error also occurs if a decoded code word doesn't match the original code word. This is called typical set decoding. The probability of error of this scheme is divided into two parts. First, error can occur if no jointly typical X sequences are found for a received Y sequence. Second, error can occur if an incorrect X sequence is jointly typical with a received Y sequence. By the randomness of the code construction, we can assume that the average probability of error averaged over all codes does not depend on the index sent. Thus, without loss of generality, we can assume W equals 1. From the joint AEP, we know that the probability that no jointly typical X exists goes to 0 as N grows large. We can bound this error probability by epsilon display style ver epsilon also from the joint aep we know the probability that a particular x 1 n i 
Display style x underscore one carrot n i and the y one n display style y underscore one carrot n resulting from w equals one air jointly typical is two minus n i x y minus three Epsilon display style leq two carrot n i x y minus three ver epsilon define e i equals x one n i y one n element of epsilon n i equals one two two N R Display style E underscore I equals X underscore one carrot N I Y underscore one carrot N in A underscore for epsilon carrot N I equals one two dots two carrot near as the event that message I is jointly typical with the sequence received when message one is sent. P Error equals P error W equals one P E one C plus I equals two two N R P E I P E one C plus two N R minus one two minus N I X Y minus three epsilon epsilon plus two minus n i x y minus r minus three epsilon display style begin aligned p text error and equals p text error w equals one l e q p e underscore one carrot c plus sum underscore i equals two carrot two carrot near p e underscore i and l e q p e underscore one carrot c plus two carrot near minus one two carrot n i x y minus three Ver epsilon and leq ver epsilon plus two carat n i x y r three ver epsilon end aligned. We can observe that as n display style n goes to infinity, if r i x y display style r for the channel, the probability of error will go to zero. Finally, given that the average codebook is shown to be good, we know that there exists a codebook whose performance is better than the average, and so satisfies our need for arbitrarily low error probability communicating across the noisy channel. Topic. Weak converse for discrete memoryless channels Suppose a code of 2 n r display style 2 caret near code words. Let w be drawn uniformly over this set as an index. Let x n display style x caret n and Y N display style Y caret N be the transmitted code words and received code words, respectively. N R equals H W equals H W Y N plus I W Y N display style near equals H W equals H W Y carrot N plus I W Y carrot N using identities involving entropy and mutual information H W Y N plus I X N W Y N 
Display style L E Q H W Y carrot N plus I X carrot N W Y carrot N Since X is a function of W one plus P E N N R plus I X N W Y N Display style L E Q one plus P underscore E carrot N near plus I X carrot N W Y carrot N by the use of Fano's inequality one plus P E N N R plus N C Display style L E Q one plus P underscore E carrot N near plus N C by the fact that capacity is maximized mutual information, the result of these steps is that P E N one minus one N R minus C R Display style P underscore E carrot N G E Q one frac one near frac C R as the block length N Display style N goes to infinity, we obtain P E N Display style P underscore E carrot N is bounded away from zero if R is greater than C, we can get arbitrarily low rates of error only if R is less than C. Topic. Strong converse for discrete memoryless channels A strong converse theorem, proven by Wolfowitz in 1957, states that P E 1 minus 4 a n r minus c 2 minus e minus n r minus c 2 Display style p underscore e g e q one frac four a n r c carrot two e carrot frac n r c two for some finite positive constant. Display style a. While the weak converse states that the error probability is bounded away from zero as n. Display style n goes to infinity. The strong converse states that the error goes to one. Thus. C display style C is a sharp threshold between perfectly reliable and completely unreliable communication. Topic: <laughs> Channel coding theorem for non-stationary memoryless channels. We assume that the channel is memoryless, but its transition probabilities change with time, in a fashion known at the transmitter as well as the receiver. Then the channel capacity is given by C equals lim inf max p x 1 p x 2 1 n I equals one N I X I Y I Display style C equals Lim INF max underscore P carrot X underscore one P carrot X underscore two Frac one N sum underscore I equals one carrot N I X underscore I Y underscore I the maximum is attained at the capacity achieving distributions for each respective channel. That is C equals lim inf 1 n i equals 1 n c i 
Display style C equals lim INF frac one N sum underscore I equals one carrot N C underscore I where C I display style C underscore I is the capacity of the ITH channel. Topic Outline of the proof The proof runs through in almost the same way as that of channel coding theorem. Achievability follows from random coding with each symbol chosen randomly from the capacity achieving distribution for that particular channel. Typicality arguments use the definition of typical sets for non-stationary sources defined in the asymptotic equipartition property article. The technicality of lim INF comes into play when 1 n i equals 1 n c i display style frac 1 n sum underscore i equals 1 caret n c underscore i does not converge topic see also asymptotic equipartition property aep Farno's inequality Rate distortion theory Shannon source coding theorem Shannon-Hartley theorem Turbocode Notes <laughs>